Keeping CTA buses and trains prepped for Chicago's notorious winters is a year-long process. Even when it's sunny and 90 in the summer, the CTA is planning for snowy and cold in the winter. When it comes to weather, in Chicago we have extremes of high temperatures, low temperatures. You can get snow in May, you know, and, and so we really got to stay on top of our game all year round. Otherwise, you know, you don't want to be caught off guard because everything has to make the street every day, you know, we have to provide the service. We work out here, it's either in preparation or of, of the equipment to make it suitable for the winter or it's reviewing our procedures and, and gathering information to make sure that everything we're doing is to the best entrance to move people along to get them where they need to go no matter what the weather is. Winter is here and CTA is working hard with the city to make sure customers get where they need to go. Come August 1st is our big step off when we start reviewing our plans and putting our plans together for that next winter, in which we gather all our information together and we come up and we dedicate a book that designs all our instances when we have snow or ice, and then we, we detail it out about how the city and the CTA works together to, to formulate and to put a plan into action when certain instances happen. We've got a snow command, and pretty much the, uh, we already have a plan in place where I can expect the lots to be plowed so I can get all the buses onto the street and so forth. Uh, there are scheduled times when the snow command uh, plows the turnarounds and some of the uh, lots and so forth. So we get all the equipment on the street. Uh, I have a, a snow command person that I can contact should I require extra service solving so that I can move service out on the street. Between the rail janitors and facilities maintenance, they clean all the platforms, different Departments of the CTA will have different areas in which they cover and they have complete crews that go out and they will clean everything that has to do with making sure that everything runs properly. CTA uses special equipment to keep buses and trains going in the snow and sleet. We put the sleet scraper train out. We usually put it out before we have our normal rush hours or in the middle of the night we'll put it out. It puts down a pace down on the third rail and it prevents the snow and ice from sticking and it allows us to have complete conductivity between the third rail and the train. We're a 24-7 operation, and, and the, the preparedness for the bus in the morning really begins as soon as that bus pulls in off the street. That's when we, so we fuel it, we sweep it, we, we, we inspect it, we have to turn that thing around. By the next morning, that bus has to be ready to go out in the morning. So we've got three shifts working around the clock to turn these buses around and make sure they're good, that they're clean, safe, and nice and warm to go out in the morning. We've gone through extensive testing and extensive preparedness to make sure that we cover everything when something happens and it will help our passengers get to where they're going because we know that during inclement weather we have a tendency to carry a lot more people than we normally do during a normal rush hour. Because more people tend to take the CTA during inclement weather, expect buses and trains to be more crowded and remember to allow for extra travel time just as you would if you're driving yourself.